Annyeonghaseyo! It's Gabby, your favorite opportunity queen, and today I'm going to be giving tips on how you can rock your application to the Asian Youth Friendship Network Korean Culture Camp in Korea by AYFF. So I went on this trip right before the pandemic hit, January 2020, and I went to South Korea. I found the same scholarship that you're looking at. It was online and I applied to it. I think it was a two or three round application process. I had to write a few essays. I had to get on a Skype call with someone. I had to submit a video entry and then I got accepted. And just like you, if you're watching this right now, you found the scholarship, you're interested and you may have some questions, not only about the application, but about the program itself. So I'm happy to share. Let me first apologize for my like makeshift studio right now. I'm actually in South Africa, which is extraordinary because the same reason I went to South Korea is the same reason I came here. Not the same way, but the same reason. And they're because of paid travel opportunities. And if you follow me, you know what paid travel opportunities are. If you don't, you need to binge watch my videos right now because I love PTO, paid travel opportunities. They're scholarships, grants, fellowships, funded conferences, all the things that you can think of that someone would pay you to do something in a different country, that's what PTO are. And those are the reasons that I came to South Africa and those are the reasons that I went to South Korea. So it's kind of relevant, not that relevant, the reason why I have this crazy background right now, but it all kind of comes together in the story that is my life and the story that I want to be your life too. So let's get back to South Korea. And now what is the AYFN Korean Culture Camp? So it's a program hosted by AYFN where they'll fly out Asian nationals and they'll fly out nationals of all different nationality. I'm talking to everybody. If that's one of your questions, yes. This is open to all nationalities and they get them together in Korea to learn about Korean culture, Korean history, Korean language, and just expose them to the wonder that is South Korea. Let me actually read to you what's on their website on the application page. It says, the goal of the Korean culture camp is to increase foreign students' understanding of the Republic of South Korea. AYFN Academy and local organization offer an invaluable Korean learning cultural immersion program. The program combines Korean language training with daily activities and cultural excursions to enhance the Korean experience. It's open to international students slash youth with any language of Korean ability. If that's another one of your questions, the answer is no. I do not speak, well, I didn't speak Korean. I still don't speak Korean. I had no prior Korean language experience and you don't need it to do this program because they teach you Korean language as part of the curriculum. Like you're there for seven days or whatever the days are for the particular cohort that you're applying to. And you're in classes, I think for every other day, if not every day for a few hours to learn Korean language. And to this day, I can still read a little bit of the Korean characters. And of course, like I said, I know Anya Haseo, which is like a big sick, but <laughs> I still flex that when I can. And yeah, you can read the rest of it here, but that's pretty much what the program is about. And I'll just give a quick review. My experience was absolutely fantastic. I have never been to South Korea before this program, and I don't know if it ever would have been the highest on my priority list, just because I kind of associate with Korea with expensive, like expensive flight for me being from the US, expensive food, expensive skincare like I don't know Koreans all look like at least from the media super rich and like bougie so I'm like okay if I was gonna go to Korea I probably would have gone later in life but when I was 22 I found this scholarship opportunity just like you have and I applied to it and was able to go for a week it was completely funded for me my flight I was able to get from DC to South Korea I think was within their threshold so they covered that accommodations were paid for I had two or three roommates but that was completely fine because the other people on my program were fantastic they paid for every meal which was amazing they paid for excursions and museum visits and oh my gosh let me not screw it up Gyeongbokcha palace that we went to they paid for all of that and to me that was what made the experience accessible was that I didn't have to worry about finances or like oh my god how am I gonna pay for this putting this on my credit card like I didn't have to worry about that which made me actually enjoy the experience and actually get to dive deeper into Korean culture. And that's what the point of the program is. So I love the way AYFN did that, does everything they do. I cannot speak highly enough about AYFN and the staff that they have. Amazing people, it's not a scam. They're really awesome people. Like I am doing this video because I not only really recommend the program, but I wanna help you get a good application in to make you a competitive applicant. So you who are watching this actually get to go. Okay, so let's actually get into the scholarship application portion of this video. And I just wanna say, I think I was one of the first cohorts for this program to go to South Korea. I don't know if the requirements are the same. I'm gonna look through them with you now. I don't know if what they offer or what they cover with the program is the same now. 
it's the whole pandemic has happened in between when I went and when you're applying to it. So keep that in mind. If I said dinner was covered and dinner's not covered, that's because things have changed because of the pandemic, right? Like brain of salt, like, okay, so let's go. So the requirements to apply is you must be 15 to 35 years old. All nationalities are welcome. I don't want any comments like, okay, well, I'm from Jamaica, can I apply? The answer is yes, babe. It says all nationalities, everybody. You must be able to communicate in English, which means at least like conversational in English, even if it's not your first language. You have to have an Instagram account. I don't think that was a requirement when I applied, but sure. You have to have an Instagram account. Must be able to join the full program. No leaving early, no coming late. Must be able to adapt to a new environment easily. If you think you're gonna go, if you're gonna apply for this and win the scholarship and go and like freak out, don't wanna apply, like don't put yourself through that. Make sure you're really comfortable with going. And even if it is gonna be a challenge, it's one that you're open and kind of ready to take on. You have to be ready and able to pay the application fee. That's important because there was an application fee. And if you watch my other videos, especially if you've seen me on TikTok, you know that I hate application fees because I don't think that if you are applying to an opportunity, you have the means to do that experience yourself anyway. So the fact that you have to pay and potentially not get accepted and go into the red applying to opportunities, not my favorite thing. There is an exception to every rule and I did apply myself. I think it was 25 or $30 when I applied and I went and it was totally worth the $30. And I, the people that I met, the experience that I had, the things that it led to later in my life were totally worth the $30. So I will personally say to me, this is worth the application fee. If it's not worth it to you, if you're really scrounging for that last dollar, don't feel pressured to apply. To me though, I did pay that and it was not a scam and it was legit and I absolutely loved it. Disclaimer there. Um, you have to be healthy physically and mentally. So how do you actually apply? Okay, so it says, I'm reading this to you right now, right? This is straight from their website. Number one, buy the application ticket and you will get a Korean language ebook or printed book. That's kind of nice. At least you're paying for the application and no matter what you get a product. So it's not like you are just giving them money and you never hear back from them, which can happen with other grants and like opportunities and stuff. So I kind of like that they're giving you value no matter if you win or not. After receiving your application ticket and ebook, kindly prepare the your CV, your curriculum vitae, your resume, and a photo and a short personal introduction video in English, one to three minutes. That's what I did. I did the video and mine was not as good as the other people's on the trip, I will tell you that. There was one Bulgarian kid, I think, who was a video editor and his was like movie fantastic. Mine was like filmed pretty much just like this, but I think even on my phone and I was like in the dark, like, hi, I want love to come, please. And that's okay, because they still accepted me. So it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to get your story across. I actually have the video up here on my YouTube. I'll link it here so you can see it. And tips on how I did my video as a blog post on my blog, I'll link that in the caption below so you can go see it whenever you want. But yes, do your video, make sure it's clear, make sure your audio is good, make sure you're looking into the lens, not looking into the, the little screen on the side, make sure you're looking at people who are watching the video and just, be normal, do your best. If you stumble, it's no big deal. Like do it unscripted, do it scripted, do it however you want. Like don't stress too much about the video. Just make sure that they can hear your story and the points that you're trying to get across and can see you clearly. And then, you know, it just shows that you put a little effort into it. You know, do your hair, you know, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so you do your video, follow AYFN on Instagram. Please fill up the application form. Deadline, make sure you apply by the deadline. I don't know how many times that that has been the biggest thing that people tell me is like, oh my God, I loved your tips. I just didn't actually, and I did, I did the application. I just didn't actually press submit. And I'm like, that's called ADHD, babe. Like we're, okay, we're gonna have to make, like that's a reason, but not an excuse. Like we are gonna have to, we want things in life, we have to press submit. So that's actually why I made my opportunity tracker. I'll link that in the caption below, but it's pretty much a tracker that will keep you accountable. It's color coded, it's fun to use. You kind of gamify the application experience. And to me, that's how I personally made $100,000 in my business last year, is all the things that I was pitching and applying to and like grants I was applying it to and stuff, I would put it in that tracker and I would go into it every day and I'd be like, this is so pretty, this is so fun to fill out, like boop, boop, boop. And it actually made me more productive. Like I really played myself in the best way. So that's it. Fill out the application, get your little free ebook, do your video, submit a photo and your resume, fill it out the application form. Let's take a look, quick look at the application form though. And this is where I'll give my tips as the opportunity expert because your girl, sorry if I didn't mention this earlier, uh, paid for almost all of my college tuition with scholarships, which means I applied to a lot of them. In high school, I applied to like 200 in the span of the year. I only got, I think like six or seven, but those six or seven added up to more than six figures. So per, worth it for me. I also studied abroad completely on scholarships. I won $70,000 to be able to study abroad in Dubai, UAE, 
for one year completely funded. I won multiple scholarships to do that. Your girl is good at applying. Your girl is good at telling her story and following directions, which is what I'm gonna help you with. So let's look at the application form. Email, easy, funded or partially funded. I kind of like that too. If you don't get the fully funded one, I think they offer you the partially funded, which is like 50% off. And like I said, now knowing how legit it is and how much of a fantastically organized and great experience it is, to me, if I could have scrounged up 50% of the money to pay for it, because it was that's still a great deal on the type of trip that this is, that they cover the logistics, that they cover it partially financially, that you're with people who have been to South Korea before, that you're doing all the things that you wanna do, like on the first page of Google, the things that you wanna do, as well as things that you couldn't have imagined, and that you're with a group. Like you don't have to go so solo, like solo, not solo. I absolutely love that. So again, pick which scholarship scheme you're applying to. Full name, shown on your passport, your gender, nationality, phone number, these are not things that require thought. Level of English proficiency, your resume. I have tips on building your resume. I have an application toolkit actually, where I've done so many of these applications that I am now queen at resume, queen at CV, queen at cover letter and letter of intent. I got all that for you, so I'll link that in the caption below. You can go check that out if you want to. I have a lot of resume templates and cover letter templates and things like that. Motivation letter. This is your letter of intent. Why would you like to join this course? Your expectations, your contribution for the success of this course, and what will you give a, to AYFN if your scholarship application is granted? I don't think they mean give physically. I know they don't actually. They mean like how will this experience enrich your life that you'll give back maybe to them and also to the world. So if I had to answer that now, I would say I would like to join this course because, and this was me back then, I'd never been to South Korea. I've always been interested in it. K-pop is super popular. Like you hear so many things about South Korea, but I'd like to see if it's true for myself and like really get a first person appreciation for the culture. My expectations, I expect to be safe and have a good time and meet other people and yeah, have an enjoyable experience. And I mean, of course, like they said, they wanna know how you'll kind of give back to the world after you do this. So I would personally say, use the experience to better myself as a global citizen and move throughout the world better knowing this information and like being able to represent Korea, be a cultural ambassador to the US for South Korea. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really gonna go down with that one. Hey, I'm just saying. Um, your contribution for the success of this course. I said I, I would probably say I would give my time, my whatever expertise I could, and I don't know, yeah, social media, whatever you can do, social media coverage, if you're an influencer yourself, if you're a writer, maybe you could write stuff for them. Like, I totally, I kind of understand because I've done this, why they're asking this, because they're a really, they are a small business, and I think they're funded partially by either the Indonesian government or the Korean government, but they're a small business. And like, so I don't think they're trying to be weird about like asking like what you can do for them. Just offer your time, offer to mentor the next round of applicants, offer to leave a testimonial, simple things. Like don't freak out. Certificate of achievement of reward. I actually don't know what that is. Maybe it's your degree. Either way, I would email them. I would email them and be like, hey, just clarifying that. And they're really quick at responding. I know they are, so just email them and ask like, hey, is that, what is that? Self-introduction video, upload it to YouTube, tell us about yourself, your family, your daily activities, your experiences. I have my video linked below, but essentially I think I just mentioned who I was, what I did, that I recently graduated, that I wanted to see South Korea, all the things that I said in my little letter thing, I would kind of reiterate here. And you can be fun, like I said, mine was talking head video like this. The other person's were like, I think a photo montage and they put voiceover on it. And other person's like that Bulgarian kids was like cinematic, like a GoPro, like a um, drone shots and stuff. Like it was crazy. So do whatever you want. Just make it impactful and memorable. Why should we select you as a scholarship awardee? I'm so glad you asked. I have an article on the five top questions that get asked in these applications like this. And in the article, I give you tips to answer questions exactly like this. Why should we select you? So let's go to that article. Okay, literally right here, like I wrote this article, I think a year ago, and it's obviously still relevant. Out of all the applicants, why do you deserve this PTO, this scholarship, this grant, this program, this funding assistance? Here's what I say in the article. Everyone thinks they deserve the opportunity they're applying to or else they wouldn't apply. Don't downplay your desire. This is your time to lay it all out there. Be confident and be bold. Consider these questions when crafting your answer. Why do you deserve this scholarship more than anyone else? How will you stretch this opportunity to impact others? Would you never be able to visit this country without this opportunity? Is it usually too expensive? Do you have familial ties there? Maybe you have Korean heritage that you wanna learn more about. Tell that to them. 
What have you done or plan to do in your life that will be propelled by this opportunity if you win it? Maybe you want to be a Korean language teacher and you're like, uh, I should probably go to Korea uh, before I do that. Maybe you're a cinematographer and you're like, I'm really interested in Korean art and film. I want to go to Korea and see it myself. Maybe you're a fashion designer and you've always been interested in Korean patterns. Like, tell them that story, make it a story and make it true and make it unique to you. Okay, um, emergency contact number. How do you know about this opportunity? Hey, if you found it through PaxLite, can you just put Gabby packs late down there because that would be uh, ideal, okay? I mean, I'm just saying. So if you found it from Google, say Google. If you found it from email, say email. If you found it from Gabby packs late, say Gabby at packs late. Like, I'm just saying. Instagram, your Instagram link, your YouTube channel, not mandatory. They say that. Your Facebook link, not mandatory. They say that. And then you just say that you're approving that you did not lie in your application and you will accept the terms and conditions of the scholarship and that's it. Like that's the application. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope it's been inspiring for you. If you're learning about AYFN and the Korean cultural exchange program from this video, go apply to it. I did the winter 2021. They have just had a fall 2022 one and now they're having a winter 2023 one. So it seems like this is them picking it up every season after the pandemic. So, I mean, basically if you're seeing this now, whatever time you're seeing this, I think they'll have another one. So if you missed the deadline for this one, you're like, oh God, just found this video. Like I missed the deadline with the fuck. They're probably gonna have another one. Follow them on Instagram. I'll put all the information here. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on their email newsletter, go to their website. They have other opportunities, not just to Korea. I know they have one in Bali next year, 2023, that I'm hoping to go to. Drop any questions that you have in the comments. I'm happy to help you with your applications and use the resources that I dropped in the comments that I mentioned this video, the links to my blog posts, the links to my other YouTube videos, the links to my application toolkit, my opportunity tracker, like go get them and use them and have a very successful application. If you win, I need you to send me pictures of you in Korea. Are you list are we here? If you win, I need you to send me pictures of you in South Korea so I can cry and be so happy for you. Cause yeah, if you win, you deserve it, okay? All right, follow me for more, of course. Please hit those little buttons down there. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. And I'll see you in the next video. In one thing in your industry or profession that the general public would be shocked to know about. You do not have to be a student to study abroad.